two days ago I was in Spain for the World Championship and now I'm back in the much colder, much wetter northern part of Norway and I have one day to catch the halibut. Let's see how it goes. The halibut is a very unique fish and I know lots of sparrows who spend countless hours searching for them, dreaming of this experience. Of course I am one of them, and before today's dive I'll share my previous encounters with the Queen of the North. So back in 2017 I was hunting for pollocks and cods outside of a harbour in the North. I was a fresh sparrow, and all the gear was borrowed. Those two things are very important for this clip to make any sense. As I suddenly see the halibut in front of me, my heart stops. Someone had told me I should always shoot halibut from behind, and being a rookie, I thought I had to be behind. So I started swimming like an idiot. The fish was on a rock, and I was terrified of ruining its bear. But it hadn't spooked yet, so why not get creative? The following year I returned to the north with my spare fishing club from home. Big cods and halibuts were the go. I ended up spending quite a lot of time hunting cods. And although I got a few nice ones, this right here was the biggest flatfish I saw. But 2019 gave me another chance, and this time I was focusing solely on the halibut. I spent a whole week searching for them, swimming kilometer after kilometer, but the few I saw were either babies or too small like this one. But then, on one of the last days of diving, my buddy René came swearing up from the bottom, saying he had spooked a nice one, and I immediately dove down. And this was the last halibut I saw. And although it is four years ago, this memory is very fresh in mind. On top of that, the clip in the beginning is from my father who shot a 15 kilo halibut when I was stuck in the Navy. And last December, my diving buddy Paul shot a 20 kilo halibut when I was stuck with exams. So yeah, I really wanted a halibut. Luckily, the bottom structure looked promising. Even though it was a bit dark, we could still do a fair amount of scouting from the surface. And suddenly, I hear a spear gun go off. Was it better? No. Ah. Ah. I heard it and I was like, oh, now I'm ready.
we had been diving upstream of this small bridge just to check it out, but we both had higher hopes for the other side. And on our way there, there was fish. Exactly what we <laughs> were after, but I'll take that. And then some rafting. Quite a few pollocks, but no halibut. We had a run in the current a couple of times because, well, there's fish and it's fun, but then it was back to the search. And it looks mostly like this. There was also cods in the area. And by that I mean lots of cods. I tend to get quite distracted by views like this, but for once I had eyes on the prize and waved the cod goodbye. And a minute later, I finally had a halibut before me. And this time I was not gonna take any chances. Then it was just to secure, bleed and admire the catch. Martin was unlucky and didn't shoot the one he saw, but he was kind enough to take some pictures of me. We were in the north for some work, and luckily he was sporty enough to agree on some halibut hunting the one free afternoon. He is a fellow Freebenslieb ambassador as well as on the Norwegian national rowing team, training for the Olympics. On top of that, I seriously think he must be one of the persons in Norway who picks up the most trash from the sea, and he stayed true to his dedication. This is the start. This is 80, so it's uh, yeah, five centimeters above. Here, I completely forgot that the minimum size of halibut has increased from 80 to 84 centimeters. So instead of five centimeters above minimum size, this is pretty much the smallest halibut you can shoot. During these hunts, it's easy to get carried away, but the minimum size is there for a reason. The same applies to the maximum size, which is 2 meters. Any halibut bigger than this is protected. So yesterday was above all expectations. 
you can't really come here and have one dive and expect to find halibut but we did and that's amazing it's been uh, maturing in the cooling room all night long and now it's just filleted and vacuumed so we got invited to Nøstholmen by Randisko and it's a beautiful place I really really recommend anyone to check this out I will leave a link in the description so now it's time to do what we actually came to do but nice to squeeze in a dive thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time